Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel, Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 4 Algorithmic Strategy, Content, Dynamic Programming Algorithm. Dynamic programming is an algorithmic design method that can be used when the solution to a problem can be viewed as the result of a sequence of decision. As a result of a sequence of decision. Next point, dynamic programming approaches similar to divide and conquer. The given problem is divided into smaller and yet smaller possible sub problems. Two points for a dynamic programming. First point, it is a divide and conquer approach. That means the program is not divided or splitted into many things. There is a difference between splitting a program into small modules than dynamic programming. I will explain it. The given problem is divided into smaller and yet smaller possible sub -pro problems, but the smaller division must be similar. Dynamic programming is used whenever problems can be divided into similar sub-problems. Underline the word. Problems can be divided into similar sub-problems. That means the program is splitted in steps. Each step looks like same and it is done repeatedly. Finally, the answers are obtained as a as a end result that is dynamic programming so that the results can be reused to complete the process it is not of splitting a program into four divisions or five divisions and getting each division as a separate thing it's a uh, it's somewhat different from splitting the program then dividing to similar steps that is very important. Dividing the program, but the division is similar in the steps. Dynamic programming approaches are used to find the solution in optimized way. For every inner sub-problem, dynamic algorithms will try to check the results of the previously solved sub-problems. So, first, you think like you are building a car, uh, building, uh, that means you are making a building using the carts. So, the pattern will look same, but first you will keep the foundation row. Above that, you will make the another row. Without the foundation row, you cannot, may, uh, that means you cannot grow the building up. Am I right? So, that is the dynamic approach. Small, small steps are combined to find the output or the result. But each steps are similar and each results are um, combined or accumulated one by one to get the another result. The solution of overlapped sub-problems are combined in order to get the better solution. First thing, the given problem will be divided into smaller overlapping sub-problems. First point. An optimum solution for the given problem can be achieved by using result of smaller sub-problem. Dynamic algorithms uses myomization. What is that? It is the speed up computer programs. It is a technique to speed up computer programs by storing the results of expensive function calls and returning the cached result when the same inputs occur again and again. That means they are utilizing the memory in an effective manner uh, that is said to be myomization because the steps are similar and it is repeated and each step results are combined. So first result is placed when the next steps is done the same storage place the next result is overlapped. The next uh, another step when it is go to the third step the third step result is overlapped with the second step. So storage also uh, used effectively and the steps also done effectively to get the output. We'll take an example as Fibonacci series. 
it generates the subsequent number by adding two previous numbers. That means if it is starts with the two variable fib0, fib1, fib0 is 0 starting value and fib1 is starting, uh, having the starting value as 1. The step is fib of n equal to fib of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. That is the step it should be repeatedly done to get the result. We will see. This is the working principle. First it is 0 and 1 and it is summed to get the result 1. Now the result and the previous number 1 and 1 it will get the value as 2. Now the result and the previous number will give the result as 3. Now the result is 3, previous is 2. Addition is 5. Result is 5, previous is 3. So addition is 8. Result is 8, previous is 5. So the summation is 13. 13. So that's all the 8 numbers. So we, have done, we are doing this if it is for the n value of 8 means 8 numbers are reached. So first value, first initialization is a variable with 0, f of 0 is 0, f of 1 is 1, starting value. Then I have to sum f of 0 plus f of 1 in the, and kept in the variable fib. Now interchange, the value in f1 is given to f0, value in fib is given to f1. It is done repeatedly, to, uh, repeatedly means if it is the fibnosis for n number, if it is for 5, it is 5. We will get 5 num We will get fibnosis series of 5 digits. It is not for the number of 5. Number of digits is 5 in the fibnosis series. If it is 8, number of uh, uh, numbers in the fibnosis series is 8. Take step 1. Fib of 0 is 0 f of 1 is 1 then fib is f of 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 1 the result is 1 this is the first step now we are going to repeat the stay step again and again to get the output listen step 2 i have to keep the f1 value to f0 so it is 1 because the 1 in f1 is given to f of 0 so f of 0 is now 1 Next, FIB value is given to F1. So, what is the value in FIB? It is 1. So, now F1 is 1. Next, what is FIB? Summation of F0 plus F1. So, 1 plus 1, it is 2. Same process is repeated. So, we are having two, two numbers. N value is 2. That is, FIB knows value of 1. Next one is 2. Next, third step. 1 is to be in 0. So the result of 1 is in f of 0. Then f of, in the result value should be given to the previous number. So 2 is given to the previous number. Now the result is 0 plus 1. 1 plus 2. It's 3. The same step is repeated. Again, 1 should be given to 0. 2 in f of 1 should be given to f of 0. 2 is here. Next step, FIB should be given to F1. So the result is given to the previous number. So now F1 has become 3. Now FIB is total of F0 plus F1. So 2 plus 3 it is 5. Are you able to understand? Dynamic programming, similar steps. The pro problem is divided into similar sub problem. First step. Second, minimization. That means the memory space is used effectively. These are the two concepts important in dynamic programming algorithms. So if we generate Fibonacci series up to 10 digit, then the digit is 10. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 digit of Fibonacci series. I hope you have understood this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.